Um, it's definitely frustrating for me because you know I feel I really wanted to be out there for my teammates and help them. Um, you know I, I feel like I could have did a better job of um, you know being more of a leader uh, from the bench when I'm not in there and trying to help my teammates even more. Um, coach mentioned that at halftime that I needed I need to step up and become more of a leader for the team, and so it's something that um, you know, I took to heart and tried to you know execute out there in the second half. When you came out, you were so sharp when you got back out there on the court. What did you maybe see? You know, you've been sharp at other points in time. But what did you maybe see on the sideline that helped you? Um, I think in the first half, uh, you know, they were just giving me um, my right hand, and that's something that you know I just, I guess, um, it's like if they're going to give it to me, I'm just going to, you know, shoot it. I made two in the first half, so that gave me, you know, a lot of confidence to keep using it in the second half. I made two. That's what I mean. I made two in the first half. Yeah, I made two in the first half, and that gave me confidence to um, keep shooting them in the second half. So I think, um, you know, just continuing on that early first half that I had and trying to um, just continue, um, you know, the, the offensive um, efficiency that I started off with. Um, I try to be smarter, of course, um, you know, just not having any, I guess, like stupid fouls was, um, you know, the big emphasis for me that have like any offensive fouls, saying screens or anything like that. Just trying to stay solid as much as possible and not, you know, get any like, you know, just tic tac fouls that, you know, I don't need to get. Well, you said you made changes leadership wise at halftime. What did you change? Uh, just, you know, being more of a vocal presence out there for my team. That's something that Coach Howard continually um, tells me, just trying to, you know, be more of a, you know, extension of him in the court is something that he's definitely um, you know, asked me from the start of the season, something that I'm still working on and still trying to get better at. You've been getting to the free throw line a lot more lately. Is that a, a product of more aggression, or you think you're just getting calls that you weren't earlier this year? Um, I think, you know, more in the beginning of the season, I was, you know, finessing a lot more shots, like just like a lot of touch shots, a lot of hook shots. Um, I'm trying to, you know, drive more contact now because um, you know, I, I saw that and I wasn't really getting to the line as much as, you know, I wanted to. And so I feel like that's definitely an emphasis for me is trying to, you know, draw more contact and get to the line more uh, because, you know, I feel like I'm, you know, a pretty good free throw shooter. And so I feel like that's, you know, a, um, a way that I can help my team out there. Sorry, I missed the first one where you asked about your foul trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess as far as just like uh, Coach Juwan's like policy of, of sending a guy to the bench with two fouls, what, where do you stand? I mean, I don't know what I don't know what his policy is. Like, I feel like you'd have to ask him that. Like, I mean, I'll, 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 yeah, I don't know because, like, you know, I, I was hoping that he put me back in, obviously, because, like, you know, that's just like the player and competitiveness in me. But I mean, you know, I, I don't know. It worked out. What, what he did worked out, so I'm cool with it. Is there any conversation, or do you just get pulled out and you're sitting there and, and just looking at him? No, nah, I mean, like, I, I definitely would want to go up to him, and be like, man, like. You can put me back in, like you can trust me. But like, I mean, I also want to like leave him be because you know he's trying to coach, you know, like the rest of the team. So you know, I don't want to be a um, distraction to him. But I mean, oh yeah, I don't know. I don't want to make him mad either. So. Javante mentioned that at half, Jawan was actually kind of mad in the locker room. You know, getting on some guys. Mm -hmm. uh, did he say anything to you specifically? And if so, what did he say? Yeah, um, he wanted to be more of a leader out there on the floor. Um, he was saying that you know. Even though that I was out, I can still, um, you know, affect uh, the team and you know help them uh, by trying to lead them and you know be a vocal presence out there. And so for me, I'm just trying to, um, you know, use my voice more and um, realize that you know what I say matters and um, can help people out there. Hunter, I mean, Nebraska had not won a Big Ten game, and you guys are fighting for you know NCAA tournament bid. Mm -hmm. At any point, are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, you don't, at this point, we can't lose um, any game pretty much. I mean, like, we're, we have a very small window for error. Um, and so, you know, losing to any Big Ten opponent would be, you know, a setback at this point. But um, I think just coming out with a lot, a lot of intensity, um, you know, I felt confident coming out of halftime that, you know, we're going to make a run and come back uh, because, you know, I have confidence in all those guys.
and myself for us to come back um, from any deficit. And so, you know, seven points isn't that bad. It's three stops and three scores, and you're back in it. So for us, we thought it was very manageable given on the half that we just played to come back. Step up in competition on Saturday at Purdue. I guess, you know, what, what over the last few weeks have you seen that you know, tells you you guys are, are ready for a game like that? I mean, I just feel like if we put together a full 40 minutes, um, you know, we're a hard team for anybody in the country. Um, for hen shots, playing together, guarding, I think we're as good as anybody. Obviously, our record might not show it, but, um, you know, I think we just got to play got to put together a full 40 minutes. I think there's some games game today that, you know, we just have a couple lapses um, for a stretch that can kind of break the game open for the other team. Luckily today, you know, we, were kind of, we had the halftime to kind of come back and readjust, but, you know, some next time we might not be as fortunate. So just trying to put, the, put together a 40 minute game um, is something that we need to do going forward. And then uh, a player you came in with, Zeb, um, mm -hmm. you know, announced his intention to transfer just the other day. I guess if, if you have any thoughts on that or if it caught you by surprise. Or... Uh, I mean, um, you know, that's somebody who I consider a good friend and somebody that, um, you know, I really um, am close with and somebody that I really hope, you know, does what best, what does, what is best for him. And so if that's what, you know, he thought is best for him, I fully support him. Um, he has a bright future and um, if he ever needs anything, I'm definitely there for him. You know, the theme of playing a full 40 minutes is something you've mentioned a few times. I mean, Juwan's mentioned a few times. What makes it so hard to play a full 40 minutes? I mean, for me personally, I'm staying out of foul trouble. You know, I feel like if I can stay out of foul trouble, I might be able to play a full 40 minutes. But as a team, um, I think, you know, just continuing to guard, I feel like our mental lapses are when we're not guarding, um, teams are just getting a couple buckets that, you know, then we're forced to, you know, have to try to go basket for basket with them, and that's hard given, you know, the Big Ten and the defensive ability that teams have. So for us, you know, it's just continue to buy in on the defensive end and get stops out there and let our defense turn into our offense. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.